back in the stew. She's back in the stew with my new boo. Ooh, ooh. I don't got no boo. Ugh. I don't even care. Anyway. Hi, guys. Oh, welcome back to In Her Element. I haven't been in the stew, so it's been a minute for me. But y'all been loving the episodes. The episodes have been rolling out, okay, y'all? And I'm just want to say shout out to everyone that has listened thus far like i appreciate it i know you know some topics are hard to you know to come by but hey i'm glad that y'all are enjoying it and i love it for us so that's first and foremost so shout outs to me shout outs to y'all and yeah like what have i been up to though like nothing really just been in the house i've been like in a little mood i would say maybe it's because you know it's almost a full moon my vibes are just not all the way where i need them to be so i really have been just cooped up at the crib trying to get my crib right trying to get me right trying to get my head space right just you know focusing on me for me okay and you know focusing on the paw pushing this p baby is my number one thing at the moment so that's really about it and staying out the way honestly like staying out the way is my number one thing at this moment so your girl also has been in the streets lightly okay i want to say lightly because i'm not really doing too much but so i was like you know what because i'm very an observant type of girl like when i go out like you'll never see me in the mix totally like you'll see me like there of course posted up but i'm not a wallflower but i'm like one step below that because i'm just want to see how you move how everyone is just vibing in this party what's the aura around you before i just you know start to mingle and share my energy with you and do all that so i was just you know in the streets lightly like i'm saying and i've just been noticing there is such a difference between a nigga and a king like it just is like it's just what it is like i can't even put it any other way so today's topic is niggas versus kings okay coming off the show niggas versus kings okay and i just want you to let that sink in because you're probably like hmm baby like i said niggas versus kings so today first thing first you go we gotta start off with the niggas because we love us a good nigga okay we um sorry a regular general man sorry a man because not all men are niggas and you know yeah so we'll put it like that but everyone loves to call them niggas okay a regular man a nigga correlated to okay boom so yes what i categorize this type of male species is they're very just niggerish they're just (laughs) ah, they're just very they do just men things like they don't think before they act they don't think about anyone else they're very selfish they just most of them are narcissistic you know very in control very masculine very in their power very trying to overpower stuff like that just not aware of who they are not aware of their surroundings just a typical man a typical nigga you know not there's nothing major to them that's why it's so hard for me to like calculate any characteristics because there's really nothing to them it's just one layer with them like there's no layers to them they're not real respectful you know they love to disrespect and they get very provoked very fast you know nine times out of ten very insecure but that's just my opinion hey again these are my definitions so take what you can you know so just very one note is what a nigga is very one note nothing to him okay and that's why we i think that's why we love them because they're very like simple very they're gonna get the job done a nigga gonna get you that nut (laughs) and as simple as that because a nut is a nut okay messing with these niggas so that's really what a nigga is very one note very to the to the nut okay Mm, i like that to the nut Mmm. Okay, I need to write that down for real. Because that's a good title for the episode. Okay, I like that. Look at me. (laughs) Look at me. But basically, yeah, like, there's not really much you can do with a nigga. You can make a nigga a king. Well, bottom line, first off, you can't make nobody nothing. 
So let me backtrack. <gasps> Rewind that, baby. Start from the top. You can assist. No. You can't. No. A nigga is a nigga. I'm sorry. They have to learn themselves. I'm sorry. You can't do nothing. You know. A nigga is just the bottom basic of the man's species. Just a regular one. He's one of many. <laughs> one of many. Okay. One of very many. And there's a lot. That's what I'm saying. We love them so much just because there's just so much of them. Like, it's probably like every fifth in like 20 of men i don't know <laughs> i don't know stats but they're just very easy to come by and i think you know that's why we be falling because you know there's not a lot of kings in this world you know you can't a nigga is not a king now can he grow into a king of course duh like everyone has to go take that i think there's like paths where you know you can either choose to stay a nigga or choose to elevate and become a true king. So yeah, I definitely feel like there's stepping stones that comes with this shit. Of course, well, duh, that's life. So most deaf, like, and you niggas, I mean, I love you. I really do. I, But you are just not for me. Like, we had our go. We have had our go, okay? It has been a crazy one at that and you know and the thing about a nigga okay he is gonna probably give you the best time of your life um but it's gonna with that time of your life and all that happiness comes a lot of toxic energy toxic memories toxic everything definitely a lot of chaos comes with a nigga boom a lot of chaos comes with him and you know i think that's why we love it chaos is fun chaos is fun who who said chaos ain't no fun okay a little chaos keep you going it really keeps the excitement i feel like that's why people love drama because it causes chaos and if you're addicted to that shit then you like that shit period <laughs> duh that's why you're addicted anyway <laughs> yeah so those are my definitions of a nigga okay now it's time to move on to my definition of a king because baby done with these niggas okay done with these niggas throw them away uh, tomatoes 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 okay smooch is why i lasted but okay now we're talking about these kings let me sit up straight because i'm trying to attract a king so let me like get my body my body language right because i'm trying to see something <laughs> i'm too much anyway the time has come to talk about a true king okay the king okay well the king is up there and i don't see him often but i do speak to him and he does know me by name but we're not talking about that king we're just talking about the king your king your husband your man whatever you want to just a king a person that embodies you know royalty a king is royalty you know i should have gave you all the definitions today but this episode really just came to me like yeah baby it's off the dome piece today like I'm proud of me, period. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the topic at hand. Kings, okay? Baby, a king to me, a king to me is just a man that is in touch with his, you know, feminine side just as big as his masculine side, okay? He handles both well perfectly, and that's why he handles me and juggles me perfectly, okay? That's why we just go together, okay? We go together. <laughs> But, no, a real king is just a person that is just for everybody, okay? A king is a protector, you know, a guider, you know, a person that you can learn from. Shit, a person that doesn't stress you out, takes stress away, actually. The main thing is, he is a gentleman, okay? He gonna make sure you get that nut first, okay? It doesn't even matter. He doesn't even care if you about his nut because he's so worried about you. He gonna make sure that you get that nut first, okay? And he not even gonna question it, okay? Hmm. If she, if she get a nut, it's not about me. As long as you good, don't worry about me. Hmm. Okay? <laughs> a true king. A true king, okay? He just is that guy, that man. He, you, he has a presence when he walks in. 
A nigga, typical. Their aura is typical, regular. A king, <laughs> you know when that man steps in the room, okay? He has it all on him. You just can feel it, okay? And it's not even about what he has on. It's not what's on his wrist. It's not nothing on his feet. It's just, he just embodies that because he's that guy, that that king, okay? Just, mm, okay? My man, the man. But, yeah, he opens the door, okay? Like I said, he a gentleman, okay? He gonna open the door for you, okay? Make sure you good, honey, okay? Text you, you know, when you get to the crib, like, did you make it home safe? Are you okay, you know? He just gonna do the little small shit that niggas don't give a fuck about or they don't even care to think about. A, a king is just, he has empathy. And that's huge. Like, for a man to have empathy, that's crazy that's like good shit come on now good shit because you know i'm reading this book it's called men from mars women from venus some shit like that i don't know but book review coming very soon because i'm almost done but it has really shown me how like the communication between men and women are like we literally come from two fucking totally completely different worlds and like not to get off topic but like episode coming soon for this book but it's just like I can see the difference between what a king is supposed to represent by this book. Like, that's a true man. Having empathy, like, that's a true man. Like, everyone should have empathy. But, like, a person that can really tap into that shit, that's a true king. That is, you know, because, you know, a king has to, like, take care of others. You know, he has to care about other people, you know, be a protector, all that. So, empathy comes into play, obviously, a little tiny bit, at least, shit. Be nice, nigga. Fuck. Okay? Oh, see? My bad. Sorry. Babe, please be nice, okay? Let me put on my nice voice, because I'm talking to a king, okay? Not a nigga. See? That's the thing. You See, you got to communicate differently with a nigga and a king, okay? Two totally different things, okay? But we're going to get into that. So, yeah. Those are my characteristics, y'all. That's a king, baby. Hmm. And now it's how, how we communicate with these different types of species, okay? So first, with a nigga, you know, normally the communication between a regular nigga is very mundane, like very just weak, boom. Um, very one note, like I said, very one note. So the conversations are most likely going to be one note, you know, nothing too deep, nothing too out the ordinary, you know, most likely talking about, you know, sucking and fucking per usual because you know that's what you like to do with niggas like you know they're very good for the suck and fuck okay very very good i mean the kings are too let me not the kings are too but that's a different type of fucking like that's a cry jodeci like you know busting in town you know cool like the kings is just very i mean that's a king the niggas very just you know a quick fuck you know like uh yeah it was a nut, like, just pretty basic, like, nothing really special. But <laughs> anyway, going back to how we communicate, you know, with a nigga, you know, conversation is very weak, very boring, very plain, you know. Plain Jane, the most likely, you know, there's a lot of cussing going on with a nigga, you know. Very just getting nowhere in the conversation. That's what a nigga, you know, typical, you know. It's just very hard to communicate with niggas because, you know, they're in a male world so yeah let me stop saying niggas okay men okay the regular plain jane man okay okay back to the niggas actually okay you're not gonna be you do a lot of raw 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 with a nigga you know you talk down to a nigga you know you're going to do a lot of that because you know a nigga is very insecure so they're coming at you very insecure so of course you gotta like brag and boast with a nigga because you're trying to like kind of get to his level but like show him that you're not a punk you know Niggas love to show out that they, they not no punk ass bitch. And neither are you, sis. So, you know, you're going to have to get raw, raw, raw with a nigga. And yes, I have been there. So, that's typical with a nigga, though. That's what they bring. Now, baby, on the other hand, with a king, hmm, I wish you would. How dare you? Don't you dare talk to no fucking king with that mouth, okay? A king? Never. You never talk to a king in that manner. 
you wouldn't even feel comfortable talking to no king in that manner. He wouldn't, you just wouldn't even feel comfortable. Not even he doesn't allow it. You just wouldn't feel comfortable because he would never come at you like that. A king doesn't come to disrespect, okay? He comes to honor, comes to love, you know? He's a king. Talk to him with such. You know, be very polite. Put on that pretty, okay? Talk to your man nice, you know? Especially when you fucking with a king, you know? Talk to him nicely. That's your king. He he is doing that and then some. That is a king going above and beyond. Like, treat that man as such. Communicate with that man soft, not softly, but like, you know, not delicately, just harmoniously. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be harmony, yeah. That's what a king brings, harmony. Okay? A nigga, chaos. Mm. Or maybe call it chaos versus harmony. Ooh, Sierra, look at you. Okay, look at me. Okay, off the dome piece. But, yeah, y'all. So, bottom line is that. Now, it's time to go on to my favorite motherfucking segment, okay? This is my favorite segment. Geek, geek, geek up. But I'm going to take a sip of water because your girl is parched. Who y'all? That water was heavenly. Okay, that water was great. But, no. Today's pillow kicking topic is, you know, goes with the theme of off the show. Has to be, okay? So today is, we're talking about healthy sperm. Yes. And you're like, why would you be talking about healthy sperm? Duh, baby, because people are using their mouth out here, giving that, g- g- okay? So I want y'all to know healthy sperm because not a lot of y'all are providing that healthy sperm. And the girls have been telling me. So, it's my job to just speak about it. So, take notes. Even though probably men don't even listen to the pod. But, you know, they'll catch up catch up on this new wave. But, this is brought to you by Taste Vitamins, okay? Use your Taste Vitamins, okay? Get that sperm right, okay? Yes, you can take these vitamins as well, you know. Balance, okay? You need balance too, just like... We need balance in our life as women. So do you because that sperm, baby, it's not the hottest, baby. And you look the hottest. Come on now. I want to see it on you. Okay? Get you a bottle. Use the link. You're welcome, love. Congratulations. Okay, y'all. So today pod is... Okay, y'all. So I found... This is an article. Yeah, I want to finish an article. By healthline.com, okay? And it says, what does sperm or semen taste like? Okay? Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all what affects the taste of sperm because I thought it was just diet, but Healthline is saying that it doesn't just, it's not just your diet. So this is what it says. Okay. So, of course, diet, you know, is number one. But as it reads, it says, as with alcohol, tobacco, coffee, and other substances like drugs are thought to contribute to smell your sweat. As such, they also may affect your semen. Consuming any of these substances can reportedly cause the flavor to become bitter, pungent, or sour. Ew. You hear all that? Gross. Who wants that in their mouth? And then you want somebody to swallow some bitter, pungent, sour semen? That's disgusting. I would never pull up on you with that. Like, how do you men think it's okay to pull up on me with that disgusting semen? Okay? I know that, you know, the diet is not always the hottest, but come on now. You can have a little leafy green in the diet once in a while, you know? Put the Coke down, please, for me. I would love it. Just a little bit. And not the drugs, though. That surprised me, okay? Not the drugs, okay? Now you could tell what he be doing by his semen, okay? Period. But yeah, bottom line is, baby, change your lifestyle if you need to, okay? Because healthy sperm is the best, okay? That's how you're going to get a swallower, okay? Nobody is swallowing bitter, pungent, sour semen. 
she doesn't deserve that nobody deserves that okay like how would you feel think about how would you feel if someone pulled up on you like that you would be disrespected you would feel so disrespected and that's how i feel disrespected because it's very rude for you to come pulling up on me wanting me to put in this good throat and get bitter pungent sour nut and then you want me to swallow that um have a good day boy have a good day like it's just not gonna happen no do better and especially to you alcoholics like put the bottle down it's not healthy for your liver or your semen put it down like you don't need okay it's so you can go to the club all the time but um you don't gotta be doing two three bottles to the face maybe one bottle is cool okay one bottle is cool everything in moderation okay remember that everything in moderation but your taste vitamins okay take those daily okay make sure that sperm is tasty okay your woman deserves it we deserve better okay that's the message of today's pod like i'm just want to say we deserve better okay each and every one of us deserve a king and you know you deserve a queen too so act as such you know because you know kings lead okay another thing kings gonna lead okay lead us to the promised land okay and that's why i'm gonna end it because i'm gonna get to some action girl like i got a little meetup or whatever you know I, well not that type of meetup i'm talking about business you know because baby we're pushing this pod okay thank you all so much again i want to say for supporting the pod and also if you don't know baby on apple music in her element wherever you get your podcast and on youtube okay in her element subscribe to the pod baby okay and i'll talk to you later sis bye sister